Hi folks, welcome to another episode of Tableau in two minutes. Today we're going to be demonstrating if-then calculations and to do that we're going to create a single field out of two different fields. Uh, we're going to use a data set about uh, passengers on the Titanic. It's a pretty famous data science data set. You might already have worked with it. If you have not already worked with it, then there is a link in the comments section for you to download this particular data set. It's also available on Tableau's website. That's one of their sample data sets. Now you can see that we have a lot of information about each passenger, including whether they survived, uh, the name was sex, age, etc., etc., etc. What we're interested though are these two fields here. So we have sibling spouse uh, and parent child. And what we're going to do is we're going to use the two of those to create a composite field called has family and we're going to do that using if and then calculations. So we're going to go to our sheet here. Uh, we are quickly going to add name to our rows shelf. It's going to give us a warning that we have too many members. We're going to ignore it and say add all of them anyway. Then we're going to take the parent child field, drag that over to the uh, into the biz right here. We're going to add sibling spouse and drag that over into the biz right here. Uh, and the reason we're going to do that is because when we create our calculated field, we want to have a quick way of validating whether it is correct. And then we're going to create our if then field. So we're going to click on the down arrow here, create calculated field. We're going to give it a name like has family. That is a good name. Then we're going to start off by typing if parent child is greater than zero, then whoops, I've accidentally pressed error, then has family. Else if, note that is all one word in this particular case, and then we're going to say else if sibling spouse is greater than zero, then it's also has family. Else, no family. And then we're going to type end. One of the things that always trips me up when I write these calculations is that you do have to put an end at the end of each if statement. Uh, that is not particularly complicated to troubleshoot in this particular case because obviously we only have one set of ifs and elses. But if you have a number of nested statements, then it can be tricky to figure out where you've put the end. So it's a good practice to make sure that uh, as you construct each level, you're putting the full if, else if, else, and end in um, for each item, although you can skip else if, obviously, if you don't need a second piece. All right, so this calculation is valid. That's good. We're going to click apply. It's going to create that family for us, so that uh, calculation for us over here. Click OK. Drag family to our shelf here. Uh, and then you can see that when we have zero and zero, we have no family. When we have a number in one of these, it has family. If not, it's no family. And that might be a variable that we can use to help predict whether or not somebody survived the Titanic. All right, that is it for this episode of Tableau in Two Minutes. If you have any questions, please leave them in the comments. Again, the data is also available in the video description um, and from our website.